So less than two months ago, nothing announced that it would be releasing its first ever Android smartphone sometime, hopefully later this year. But until then, the company has decided to release a beta version of its launcher on the Google Play Store. And that's what we're gonna actually be taking a look at today. I'm Harley Moranen from Android Authority, and in this video, we are gonna be diving into the Nothing OS launcher beta to see what makes it tick. Is it worth downloading to give it a shot for yourself? Uh, what does it say about the upcoming Nothing Phone 1? I think this is gonna be a fun one. So first things first, we need to install the Nothing launcher. And unfortunately, as of recording this video, the launcher is only compatible with a few number of devices, and I'm gonna put those up on screen. If you're lucky enough to have one of those devices, then by all means, you could just give this a go. Uh, if not, you can live vicariously through <laughs> me. But for the purposes of this video, I have got the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is currently running One UI, and let's change that. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the Play Store, and as you can see here, I've already got the Nothing Launcher beta popped up on screen. We're gonna hit install there. It should take no time at all. Actually, scrolling down here. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Well, that's a little, it's a little concerning, but I guess we will judge for ourselves. So we've got it installed, and in order to use the launcher, we got to go into our settings here, go into our default apps, home app, and as you can see, the nothing launcher is now an option. And then bada bing, bada boom. Oh, okay. Change the wallpaper for me. Thanks for that. Okay, right off the bat. I'm not the biggest fan of this wallpaper. If the Nothing Phone 1 came with this wallpaper, I'd change it immediately because to me, this just looks like moray. Yeah, not a big fan of that right off the bat. But honestly, first impressions go, I actually prefer this, uh, the circular icon shape to Samsung's kind of rectangular squares. I mean, this looks, you know what this looks like? I'll tell you what this looks like. This looks a lot like my buddy here, which is the Google Pixel 6 um, and the Pixel Launcher, which already uses spherical or circular icons, uh, which, you know, is personally the right move, uh, but that's just my taste. With the beta, there are a few widgets available for people to try out, uh, and so I guess we could do that now. Just gonna hold down there, go on to widgets. Thank you for that. Uh, okay, so we've got analog clock here. It's just analog clock, sure. That looks, that is, okay, cool. Next widget. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's do, let's do transparent. Okay, see, now that's the problem. On camera, it probably looks fine because of the lighting and it's all flat, but when I'm looking at this in person, that's kind of hard to read. And if I'm just trying to look at, quickly glance at my phone to see what time it is, it's gonna be a little distracting. Um, Cause you, you've got these vertical lines and then obviously, again, if you change the wallpaper, fine. But as a default, not really its strongest. It really does line up with uh, I almost said OnePlus. It really lines up with Nothing's typography uh, and their font selection for a lot of their branding and their products. Same font, same everything. So yeah, I guess it's continuity with the brand style. Not sure if I'm the biggest fan of it, but whatever. And then they've got one more widget here. Let's just take a look at that. Can I see? Okay. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. That I, I actually am a fan of. If you're really into the nothing aesthetic of kind of these pic like these intentionally large pixels, but yeah, that, that actually looks pretty cool. You know what? This actually is just reminding me of the essential phone. Uh, good thing that worked out. Uh, see if they include any more wallpapers. So you can hold down there, wallpaper and style. Okay, that's, yeah, and, and there we go. Uh, this is nothing implementing their font selection again. Uh, just to be, keep in line with their products. Again, if you like that style, power to you. I just, I'm not one of them. App icon, whatever. Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Well, let, let's see, let's see what else. What else is nothing touting with the, the beta of their launcher? Okay, so we've got bespoke weather and clock widgets, done. 
seen already. Great, cool. Enlarge your favorite app icons and folders. Hold on, they might be onto something here. <laughs> we're gonna drag this, we're gonna make a folder. Okay, maybe let's just add Chrome for lols. Then, no. Wow. I mean, okay. <laughs> sure. That. <laughs> just give me a second here. I wouldn't call that a revolutionary feature, but cool if you don't have enough apps to fill a home screen, but you want it to feel like it. What, what else does what else does the thing say? Unique fonts and visuals. Unique fonts and visuals. Just. I'll give him, I'll give him credit for the fonts, you know, for the system menu and stuff, like wallpaper and style. It's not very unique. Okay, what else, what else we got? Okay, unique sponge, but that's it. That's it? That's it. Okay. Okay, so after some research, apparently you can also download nothing's uh, selection of ringtones and wallpapers. That's a good, we're on to something. Maybe they could revolutionize the ringtone market. Nothing alarm one. Okay. Sure. Okay, notification sound. What? Why did Who <laughs> It sounds like they had a day to make up all these sounds. And someone just got their drumsticks in and went <laughs> Same thing, right? You just heard it. Same thing. <laughs> Blow papers. Let's see if there's an improvement on uh, vertical Venetian blinds here. Okay, so, okay, let's... Dog. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, okay, I, I don't, that's not bad. Shooting, like, filming a dog through one of those distorted windows. Get behind that. Face. Ooh, okay. Okay, hand. Is that not the same? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> I did not think that was a hand. Hold up. How do I, can I move the icon? Okay. That, okay, now, now that you tell me, now that you tell me, that does look like a hand. No, now I don't like the wallpaper even more. But I just don't get why I'd choose this launcher over something like my One UI launcher with my S22 Ultra or my Pixel launcher with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. When, you're, when your big selling point on the Play Store is that you can enlarge icons, that you really, it really sounds like you're, you're scraping the bottle of the barrel for something sellable there. It's, it's nice to get a glimpse of what nothing might have up its sleeves in terms of its attention to detail or design. But there's a lot, a lot of design elements or just useful software elements that make the Nothing Launcher worth your time right now. Obviously, what we're looking at right now is a beta and they have many more improvements they could be making, but how much more are they gonna add or improve and why give us this bad taste in our mouth before the, before the product is actually released? It's a lot of overhyping and it's scary because I genuinely want to see Nothing bring something to the table. But what do you guys think? Have you downloaded the Nothing Launcher? Do you love it? Do you hate it? You're gonna keep it? You're gonna stay away from it? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure to like this video if you want more content from us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload next. 
And be sure to visit us at androidauthority.com for more smartphone-related content. I'm Harley Moranen, and I'll see you in the next video.